Hello once again, I'm Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are going to be watching the installation of Communicating Fault Indicators, CFIs. Our participating utility is Arizona Public Service, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now the CFIs are those smaller black devices you see to the right of the power pole here as we're looking at it. And we will start today's task in the Quick Trip parking lot on the north side of Phoenix where our lineman Jason has three CFIs. What he's doing is called phase taping. He's taping each one with either white, blue, or red tape in order to indicate which phase or wire that indicator will go on. And now we can let Jason tell us about the CFIs. Every one of these has serial numbers. Right in there. You send in to... That's how it's going to read. Right. Between the wireless network Verizon or uh, AT&T. Perfect. Shotgun's going to go right in here as it goes up on the line. Uh huh. This is going to spread automatically once the wire hits his lever, and it snaps on and stays on the line. Excellent. There's a source side uh -huh. and a load side, okay. so they got to go on correctly. Wherever the source is and whichever side the load is, it's going to go on and that's what's going to read it. And to pull them off, shotgun's going to go up here to put them on or yank them off. Okay. Battery. We'll then screw this. There's a, now the LEDs. As long as it's green. So you got the two greens. That's showing that it's working. And you got both going. And now here we see Jason holding a pre-job brief in the Quick Trip parking lot with Eric and Ryan who will be going up in the bucket truck to install these CFIs. But before we even get to that, we can take one more look at three of these CFIs in the closed position, all phase taped up. And next, we're going to see Ryan uh, installing the first of these CFIs on the line. Let's go on up to the bucket truck and watch him do that from the vantage point of Eric in the other bucket. There he is, just snaps it right in place on the line. Next, he will install the second one. Notice how the first one is up there to the far upper right. And here is the red phase tape. CFI going up on its appropriate phase or wire. Snap that one in also with the hot stick. And now let's stand by for a very important announcement from Eric. This completes our installation of these CFI gizzies. Smart Grid 101, over and out. Actually, maybe not quite so fast, Eric. This is the Distribution Operations Center of APS where they have a map of all of those communicating fault indicators. You can monitor them and see where trouble exists, what lines are down, when and for how long. And now we can go back out into the field to see what happens with those trouble calls. The, the amount of fault current that's going, the amount of amps going through it, uh -huh. they'll send that information back to DOC. Okay. DOC gets an alarm on their screen, says, okay, uh, this CFI saw fault current, so that means the problem is past that, past that switch. Okay. So then they send a signal, they pull up a, another computer program, they send a signal through the airwaves, and it makes it to this white box at the bottom of the, at the base of the pole here. Okay. And it, that has a cell phone connectivity in it, uh -huh. and it says, oh, I just got the command to open. So. It, it plunges, it pulls that rod down, and it opens up those three switches. And so it stops right here. And that last piece of audio was delivered by Jason Ramsey, section leader on this project. Thank you, Jason. We decided not to simulate a fault simply for video demonstration purposes. And that concludes our TND How video on how to install communicating fault indicators, the CFIs being those smaller black devices to the right of the pole. Once again, our participating utility was Arizona Public Service. 
This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. As always, thank you so much for watching.